Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will take a look at a brand new application from Samsung and it's called Gallery Assistant. Now this allows you to do all of these things here in bulk. Now normally you're only able to edit a image or video one at a time. Here you can do up to 500 images or videos. You can reduce all of their sizes all at once. You can also rotate or flip. You have image clipper. So if you'd like to create, you know, stickers or separate images from pictures, you can do that in bulk and it does it automatically. You can also add in watermarks. You can compare images, which is pretty cool. I'll show you this one. You can also save some of these as PDFs so you can convert the, the selected images into a single PDF for easy sharing or storage. And you can also print. Now, again, all of this is being able to be done in bulk. Now, where you're able to get the gallery assistant, well, as of right now, it's overseas. I believe it's in Korea. If you're part of the Samsung One UI 8 beta program, you can actually sign up for this through the Samsung members application, or you can just simply just go right over into the link that I'll place below this video inside the description. It'll take you over to APK Mirror. These are all of the Samsung applications that have been updated recently. And then I noticed this brand new one, which was called Gallery Assistant. I downloaded it, played with it, and here is the video. So this one was just launched yesterday, the Gallery Assistant. And again, it allows you to do everything in bulk. Now let's take a look at this. So I have a video or actually several videos that are right up over here. All of these ones are in the more compatible H.264 file format of a video, but you can switch this one over into the HEVC so this way it can save a little bit of space, or you can even just bring down the resolution and you can bring down the file size. So you can do this right here, the reduced size, and you can do this as bulk. So I have a few videos that's up over here. I'm also gonna do these ones right over here. I mean, granted these things aren't too long, uh, again, this is where you're able to select 500 different files. We'll just do seven at one time. One of the two things you can do is I can bring down the video size. So I can bring it down from two, a little over two gigs down over to one if I would like to, or I can just keep the video size all the way up there, but then I can just change the codec over into the HEVC, which again would save space. So if you remember, I just showed you it was the H.264, which is the one that I usually like to use. So for the sake of this video here, what we'll do is we can just bring down the size. I'm going to take it down pretty much to the half of the size. So now it's at only one gig. We're going to save space, put it in that little codec right there, and then hit on save. And then what we can do is we can go right back over into the gallery. We could take a look and then we'd be able to see that this one has changed from that H.264 to the HEVC. So let's just wait for this to be done because also once this is done, it'll let you know how much space you have saved. So now that this one is done, you can see that seven videos have been saved. We reduced the size from 2.05 gig down to 0.98. And then you can view all these ones or you can just hit on OK. Now going back inside of the gallery, if we want to take a look at these videos here, you can see that these are now in that HEVC. So the ones that we took a look at also down here that we you know, saw the H.264. So again, this is where you're able to change all of these ones uh, in bulk. You can do it as videos or you can do this as pictures. Now let's take a look at another feature that you're able to do. Let's do the rotate and flip. So let's just go up right up over here. And again, as I mentioned from before, you can do multiple images at the exact same time. So we're just gonna choose like six of these, right? So what you can do right there is you can flip. So right then you just flipped all of those pictures at the exact same time. You can also straighten all of your pictures at the exact same time. You can also rotate all of them at the exact same time. And whenever you find whatever you're looking for, if you're straightening them, flipping them, whatever, again, this is just doing everything all at once all in bulk and then you just hit on save or you can even do save copy so how about we take a look at the next one this one is called image clipper so this one's pretty sweet so when it comes down to this one you're able to clip out images so let's say that we do this one uh, let's do like you know one of these baseball ones and then we'll do this one and then you hit on done what is cool about this is that it does all of them at the exact same time and it just does it automatically. You can save them as stickers or you can save them as images. If you want them to be saved as an image just by themselves, it'll go into your gallery. If you save them as a sticker, then they will be placed into, let's say your Samsung keyboard. So then this way you would be able to send them off to somebody. So let me show you what that looks like. So if you'd like to send this off as a sticker, go right over here to your smiley face. Then you go right over here to your Galaxy AI, which is right where we are automatically. So if you're in this portion, you just go right there. And then here we go. We now have these little stickers that we were able to send off. Next up, we have add watermark. Now this one, I mean, it just, it's kind of self-explanatory. You're able to add in a watermark. So for this one, you can do either your phone's name. You can even edit it 
You can bring down the size of whatever that is. You can even add in your own little image. So you just go right over here to edit, bring one on in. You can make the size, you know, whatever size you would like it. So just a way that you're able to, you know, watermark all of your pictures or videos at the exact same time. Again, all of this being done in bulk. Next on the list is compare images. And what I like about this one is that if you have multiple images that are super similar and you're trying to figure out which one you would like to use, or if you edited a picture and you wanted to see which one is better, you know, either before or after, this is where you can compare it. And you could do two of them at the same time. You could do four at the same time. And what I like about this one is that as you zoom in and also zoom out, it is cropping the image the exact same as the other. So you're not going to be a little bit, you know, too zoomed in on one and not zoomed in on the other to give it a, a fair choice on which one is best. So this will do everything for you when it comes down over into wanting to, you know, compare and take a look at these things. So that is one thing that I like about it. So down over here on the bottom, I'd be able to see, okay, well, either I can do what the moon or what the sun actually looked like, because there's a bunch of uh, smoke that was in the air. I was able to look directly at the sun. It didn't even hurt. And this was the actual color of it. But then if you edited it and you kind of lightened it up a little bit, you can see a little bit more of its sun spots. And then it just kind of depends. Are you trying to just show what the sun looks like at that point and the color of it? Or you want them to show that like, hey, this is the sun and here's the sunspots and all that good stuff. So I just like this because you are able to take a look at everything together, do a direct comparison and then from here, you can either share the image, you can heart it so it's one of your favorite images, or you can even delete it. So if you find out going between these two images, one of them is just worse and you really don't need it at all, hit delete, and then it'll delete it from the gallery. Up here, if you would like to unhinge these, so right now these are all, you know, you can see how they're all stuck together. Every single time that I move around, every single thing will move around. If you would like to unpin them, then you can move around just one image if you would like to. But it's probably best just to keep it all pinned like that so then you can do your comparison. And then for the last two, there's really not much to do other than you can just find whatever picture, image, whatever you would like, and then you're able to save this one as a PDF. So if you want to save it as a different type of file so it's easier to share off, you can do that. So you can switch them over into PDFs. And then the last one would be print. So this way, if you'd like to print this, you are able to. You can go through here, change up all of these different settings. And then also just select the printer. So once you find your printer, then you're able to get this one printed off. Again, all of this being able to be done through this one application that is brand new from Samsung. And just a reminder, I believe that this application is only available for Samsung One UI 8. So if you're part of the beta program, you're able to get this one downloaded, installed, and it'll work. You can let me know if it works if you're not a part of the beta program. And here's the thing, the official launch of Samsung phones for Samsung One UI 8, I just launched that video yesterday talking about the full entire schedule, but it looks as if the bulk of all of Samsung phones will be updated to Samsung One UI 8 by the end of October. Uh, it's starting this week on the Galaxy S25 series. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy S25 device, it will get the Samsung One UI 8 update probably between now and the end of the week. My guess is the 18th, which is in two days. So that does it for today's video. This brand new application, uh, the gallery assist, I think is awesome because all of these things here, you are not able to do in your Samsung gallery in bulk. Meaning if I took a look at a bunch of these things right here, if, you know, again, if I highlighted some of these pictures and whatever, if I wanted to change the size or add a watermark or do any of that, you can't do anything at all. You can create like a little uh, video or a moment video. You can do shares and deletes and all this stuff. You can uh, create different albums, but you cannot do any of the tools we just got done doing all in bulk, which is why we have now the Gallery Assistant. Uh, super welcomed, brand new application from Samsung. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.